Well, good morning. I love sitting here with the Word of God in front of me. Anxious to share a few minutes of it with you on what we call Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. You know, there's so many times throughout life that we go to the book of Psalms, and I make no apology for spending a lot of time in the Psalms. I believe that it's a book that God has given us to help us in so many ways and in so many different situations of life. He put it right in the middle of the book to help us find it easily. Most any Bible you have, you open it about halfway and you'll be in the Psalms. And I believe that uh, that makes it easy for us to find something when we need some instruction or inspiration. And I do love the book of Psalms. I was reading in Psalm 61 where the psalmist was praying, Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And you know, I was thinking about those words, when my heart is overwhelmed. Not if my heart is overwhelmed, but when my heart is overwhelmed. Indicating that most every one of us on the face of this earth is that some time or another we're going to feel a little bit overwhelmed. And you know, I think about the different things that cause us to be overwhelmed. I don't know exactly how to describe uh, being overwhelmed, except it's just kind of a feeling of, of faintness and a feeling of helplessness and perhaps even a feeling of hopelessness. There are times I begin to pray and I hardly know where to start. The needs are so many and the burdens are so heavy and we just feel overwhelmed sometimes. But just to mention a few times when we feel overwhelmed in life, that is, when there are situations beyond our control that come up. And we're going to find that there's a lot of life that we don't particularly like, a lot of life that will impact us in a negative way, and yet it's completely beyond our control. I think about we really can't help what those idiots, and I'm being kind, what those idiots in Washington, D.C. do, but uh, they do affect us oftentimes. Their policies and their, their laws that they legislate, they affect some of us in a very negative way. And yet there's not a thing we can do except uh, election time try to vote them out. But we do find a lot of situations beyond our control and we've just got to recognize that there's probably very little that we can do about a particular situation that is impacting us in a negative way. I think about Satan battling against us. The Bible says, Your adversary, the devil, walketh about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Jesus said to Peter, Peter, Satan desires to have thee. And you know Satan's after each one of us, and I believe there are times that we feel him hot on our trail. We feel that Satan is... Uh, is chasing us, that Satan is putting the pressure on us, that Satan is, is uh, just about to ensnare us in some way, and we may be just a little bit overwhelmed because of the spiritual battle that we wage against our arch enemy, Satan. Then I think about the situations beyond our control. I think about Satan and how he uh, comes against us, and I think about suffering. You know, suffering's a very real part of life. Sometimes I look at people and I think, well, they've got it made. Everything just hunky-dory. The sun is shining bright. It's smooth sailing. No bumps in the inner state of life for them. But we really don't know, do we? I believe that suffering is common to all people. Uh, Job, the Old Testament character of Job, gives us a classic example of what it is to really suffer. And he suffered much more than any of us will. And I know there must have, been time, must have been times that he felt simply overwhelmed by the suffering of, the, of this life. And then there's the sorrow. Sorrow is common to all people. We're walking through a veil of sorrow in this life and the death of a loved one, uh, different types of adversity, different things that come into our life as low-hanging clouds and different things that uh, we view as the dark clouds of sorrow. 
We know that sometimes perhaps we're just a little bit overwhelmed. So whether it's the situations beyond our control, or whether it's our battle with Satan, or whether it's the suffering and the sorrows of this life, the psalmist said, Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me, and a strong tower from my enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the uh, covert of thy wings. So you know I believe that we know where to go when we feel a little bit overwhelmed. Let's just go to the rock that is higher than I. So poet said, oh, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. You'll always be safe, put in your faith and your trust in that rock, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, there are times that we are completely overwhelmed in this old world. And yet, Lord, we know as Christians, as children of God, as the saints of God, we know where to go when we feel overwhelmed. Help us to remember where to go, Lord, to be faithful, to keep our faith and our trust in you in all the adverse situations that we face. And Lord, bless us throughout this day. Have thy way in our hearts and lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow now on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.